a ride she's gonna be, huh? All right, listen. Get some wheels to the safe house at St. Mark's and pick up a few friends of mine. They're hitting the bank and they need a driver. I gave my word that you were the man, so don't screw this up. Get them to the bank before five o'clock, not a minute after. In the Navy. It's like the whole world's against you. I mean, you know, we're not talking about you. What kind of egomaniac are you? You got your own show. How about letting other people talk for a change? We're all the same, giant. Oh, I'm so old. I'm so important. This is me talk about my tall stuff. I think I'll put this on the top shelf. Hey, what's the weather like down there? How's it going, short stuff? Can you get that? You're closer. Why so sad, Pee-wee? Who do you think you are? Short people are people, too. All right, another award-winning show on Chatterbox. Today we're talking about anything, it seems. If you have something to say about anything, call now. Hello, caller. You're on Chatterbox. Yeah, I love the show. Love hearing people's opinions. That's what made this country great, people. Just to the bank on the main track. I had a big whine about guns kill people. Guns don't kill people, death kills people. Ask a doctor, it's a medical fact. You can't die from a bullet. You can die from a cardiac arrest or organ failure or major hemorrhage. A small piece of metal ain't the problem. Besides, I, I only use my machine gun in the safe of my own home, a car. I ain't hurt nobody. And countries that don't have guns ain't American. Y you know, that's a really good point. Countries that don't have guns aren't American. You know, if more people get your point, I'm in and out in no time. <laughs> All right, we're going over here to line two. Help. The Lone Star State. Oh, taxes. Well, you know, look, taxes are really wrong. My father worked his whole life. He played a lot of... Oh, yes, I'm back there. He's called us back in the city of Florida. Get us up. Get us out of here. Oh, hey. Good point. I think that's a lesson to us all. All right. Hello. You are on Chatterbox. Hello, Laszlo. I'm a first-time caller. I recently moved to Liberty City from Hampshire, England. Oh, really? How do you like it? I mean, is it hard to get used to the language? You, you speak English pretty good. Oh, thank you, Laszlo. Yes, yes, I, I do like it. There's one thing, though, that, that's very different. It's rather worrying. You want to kill me? When I was a boy in England, I had a nanny. She was very strict, Laszlo. Yeah, well, I mean, there's excellent child care here in America. I, you know. Well, well, I'm sure. But the, but the thing is, lad, though, when, when, when I was a naughty boy, I, 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 I would get spanked. Na nanny, nanny would spank me when I was naughty. And now, now Freddy needs nanny. Because when Freddy's naughty, he needs to get spanked. Well, there's some child psychologists who probably say that spanking can be harmful to a child's emotional development. Ab ab absolute rot, lad, though. It's lovely. Freddy needs a nanny. He needs a nanny, lad, though, because Freddy's been a very naughty boy. How old is your son? Excuse me? How old is your son? I don't have children. I can't stand it. 